All right, moving on. First, Facebook wanted you to find friends. Now it wants to find you a date. At the company's annual developers conference, Mark Zuckerberg announced Facebook would launch a dating feature later this year. The timing, well, it's at the very least curious, considering the company is still trying to recover from a data scandal. Let's bring in Forder Hillary Fordwich. Hillary Fordwich, thank you for coming in. She is a global branding expert at Strelmark. Great to see you and have you here. Let's start with just the what's got to be the basic question. Isn't this a bad time to be launching a dating feature? Well, thank you for having me back again. Uh, yes, it actually is a bad time, except, you know, the mass user doesn't really know all the details, certainly not of Cambridge Analytica. They would not have been privy to all the information. They're not into the details of the news like we are. So I think actually this is the McDonald's of dating, and I think it's going to go very well for Facebook. Wow. So you think they can just move beyond this. Uh, one of the things they're doing to move beyond Cambridge Analytica is they're going to give users uh, details on what apps are tracking them across the web. They're supposed to make that information public even now. Is yeah. this enough? Will this do it? You say people may not be following the story, but it seems to me when I look at my Facebook feed and the people who want to delete Facebook, there is interest in this story. Will this convince consumers that Facebook is on their side? Well, actually, I think that you're, don't forget, a discriminating audience, and there's a vast amount of people that aren't as discriminating as those of us that know a lot about what's going in the news. So I feel that you're going to see the brand doesn't have a tangible reaction that is negative. Um, there are people who've talked about leaving Facebook, and yet their pages are still up. The numbers have not plummeted. Uh, whereas the stock, of course, plummeted for Match. I think some of the other dating sites are going to suffer, but I think a mass user somebody who's not as discriminating as you are and many of our viewers but, I think are going Hillary, to use it. how do they do that because so many companies when they have some kind of issue some kind of problem in the news their stock tanks like a stone so yeah. what is Zuckerberg doing right here that people don't even focus on that you know what actually it's not even what he's doing right again unfortunately we would love everybody to watch the news daily we'd love everybody to read a newspaper daily and be on up on all the details they're not and they're using Facebook. They wouldn't have seen all the feeds certainly about this via Facebook. So they may be oblivious to all of these details. What all they right. still see are their friends and family. Let me tell you, ask you about another uh, company, and that's Tesla. Now, here is mm -hmm. a company, I don't know how they do it. They are so popular. They, they have yes. a $51 billion mar market cap. They can't get a product off the production line. They have all kinds of execution issues, and yet, I, the, the CEO of this company is hailed as a visionary. What are they doing right? What they're doing right is they have something that people want. Everything comes down to a difference between need and want. You need to go from point A to point B, but a lot of people want to have a vehicle that they can tout as environmentally friendly, that they can tout as something that is obviously extremely high end, and they can feel like they have the, the blue chip top notch brand. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is about the branding. Oh, that's interesting. I can see that. That makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, Hillary Fordwich, thanks for coming on today. Great to talk to you.